Hello and welcome to this video and my channel. I'm Ellen Torp and this is the best place to learn everything about Scandinavian interior design. I don't know about you, but with the longer days and spring around the corner, I am ready to bring in a few fresh new items. Although I have recently added more international design pieces than the Scandinavian design into my home, I am still all for the Scandi brands. I still love everything it stands for. All the woods and fabrics, the great and long lasting materials and craftsmanship. So today I want to share with you 10 Scandinavian decor items, spring news 2022, everyone should have in their home this coming season. It's time to recharge your home with thoughtful design. There are so many items coming out right now and these are of course just a tiny selection. My favorites, maybe. You may even spot one in the back already. I'll come back to that one later. No wait, I will give you a second to leave a comment below with your guess. Which item in the background has hit the stores and my home? I'll give you 10 seconds. Sound it off in the comments now. Tick tock, tick tock. Any guesses? Okay, hang tight. I will let you know later. Anyway, I hope this list and this video will inspire you to give your home a little spring refresh because the depressing winter is finally over. It's time to open those blinds and let in the fresh, crisp spring air and add a few new items to make you smile every day. We all need a little something. You know, you don't need to storm out and buy all the items I share. You could, no one is stopping you, but one or two will probably do the trick. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more of my home, you should check out my Instagram too. I post pretty regularly, so, um, Go follow. Okay, let's jump in. First item on my list is by Firm Living. Soon it's time to sit outside and feel those first rays of sun on your face. Wrap up in a nice blanket, find a corner with no wind, and just breathe in the fresh air and the smell of a freshly poured cup of coffee. The way to my heart is a good cup of coffee. And although I think this one is actually meant for kids, I think it's just perfect for embracing the everyday moments of calm and chaos. The new Milu snack set is the ideal companion for those small daily breaks. The set consists of a small mug and an oval plate made in glazed stoneware with endearing hand-painted stripes. I think it looks pretty perfect for a quick daily cortado with a side of healthy snack. You may have to fight your kids for it, but who cares? I like it. Second item is from Poste Copenhagen. If you don't already know this brand, you need to check them out. They started out being all about candles and napkins, but they got the extraordinary designer Christina Dam to leave the design team and I must say it's hard to pick just one from their collection this season. So I'm not. I will highlight a few. First one that caught my eye is the wavy wooden frame mirror. It's a great piece for any space. I could easily imagine it on a sideboard piled in with other picture frames or just standing on the floor against a wall like they have done here. Using mirrors in the interior is a great way to make your home seem bigger and if placed the right way, they will also catch the daylight making spectacular rays throughout your space. If you have a problem corner in your home you don't know what to do with, then I think this next piece also from Buster Copenhagen is for you. The tennis shelf is perfect for any corner or as a nightstand next to your bed for a small display of small items. 
And as I said, Foster is known for their candles, so make sure to check out their selection when browsing their site. Alongside being head of design of Poster Copenhagen, Christina Dam also runs a brand in her own name, which is actually also pretty spectacular. It is a lot more modern and straight lines, the epitome of Scandinavian style, to be honest. I love her way of pretty much making every item a piece of sculptural work, like the frame sculpture. It is really a piece open to interpretation. Use it as a small side table or place it in the garden simply as a sculpture. One of the easiest ways to update your home in a very affordable way is to update your frames with new artwork. Well, of course, the affordable part is up to you, but there are so many great options out there. One of my faves is the Poster Club, and they just announced the release of a collection with Danish artist Lise Dick Abramsen, giving you the opportunity to hang some of her most popular motives. Sure, it's not originals, but they're still stunning. I love how she combines colors, movement, and form into a balanced expression. The poster club ships worldwide. Portable lamp seems to be the item of this season and very understandable. You may spot one in the back. Here, let me, uh, let me get it. This cute little one. Did you guess this was the item I had added? How did I not have one before? Well, now I do. It's very um, old library, I think. It's cordless, it needs to be charged once in a while, it's LED, and this little button just needs to be lightly touched to turn it on and off, or change between the different light moods. It is called Porter. Oh, and it's by Norman Copenhagen and comes in three different colors. Different light sources is a must in the Scandinavian decor. I want to say the more the merrier, but that may be, be a bit too many. Definitely not less is more. This season, I like this little cutie so much. The fact that I can so easily bring it anywhere I want to set the mood is just so good. To a little side table in a dark corner in the hallway, add it to a coffee table instead of a candle, and when it's time to sit outside, it's perfect for outdoor use too. Or add a handful to a dinner table when you have friends over, that would definitely look so cool. Speaking about being cool and tradition are focusing on interior objects that encourage moments of quiet contemplation, transforming mundane daily tasks into purposeful rituals. For a while, they have collaborated with Space Copenhagen and they have created a very simple pillow and throw collection. In my last video, I talked about things that dated your Scandinavian home, including which textiles to get rid of and which to include. And this collection hit their head on their nail. Huh. Um, no, uh, the other way. Isn't that the nail on the head? Head on the nail? The nail on the head. Anyway, <laughs> this collection is all linen boucle and great cotton weaves. A sure must have this season and beyond. Yes, they are very minimalistic. They don't scream here comes spring, but we also want items that will last a little bit longer than just a few months, right? I like to mix my pillows. As you can see, I have one with some, oh, very colorful thing over there and the rest is pretty much just simple blacks, grays and beige. I think it works. This next one is by FDB Furniture and although their website is such a mess, 
I really like the wooden display cabinets. I actually saw this piece in person at a recent press launch and fell in love instantly. Not that I can find a spot for it in my home right now, but I am daydreaming every day of finding the perfect countryside summer house where this piece would be absolutely perfect. I just love a perfectly styled display cabinet. You could use it in the kitchen for pretty glasses, napkins, plates, anything really, or fill it with great colorful books, small sculptural pieces, and other knickknacks in a huge lounge room. Such a great piece. I also love a new wooden chair they just launched. It's by Stine Lundgaard Weigeld. And although it has some clear references to the masses of mid-century design, I think it still has a spot in the world. The weaved seat is done in a bigger pattern which seems more modern and I really like the simple backrest. It's very clever. So it's the same price as the iconic wishbone chair. And although I love that chair too, it's also a chair that you see in so many homes throughout Scandinavia. So if you want something similar but different, then this chair might be for you. Even just a single one with a stack of books for decoration or as that chair in the hallway to sit on when putting on your shoes. You don't always need a whole lot of something to make it work. This next item is already in stores. I have mentioned my excitement for this collection in a previous video, but it's finally here. IKEA has added a brand new family of glass vases designed by none other than Ilse Crawford and her studio, Studio Ilse. The vases are made of recycled glass and are all mouth blown by some very skilled craftsmen. The images, they look amazing and I might have to go to Ikea myself to check them out in person. Would you be interested in a full shopping with me in Ikea video? Let me know in the comments. I'm thinking a sort of walkthrough, finding the best pieces among the millions of products. What do you think? Anyway, the Ilse Crawford collection for IKEA is called Kunstfull. And let's face it, we all need at least one great vase to bring in a bunch of spring branches to lighten up some of those rainy days that we are bound to have this next month. They are all very affordable. My bet is though that they will sell out very quickly. So you better hurry if you want one. I've kind of lost count of the items now. I'm sure I have 10, probably more, hopefully. Anyway, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it will inspire you to go grab a few new items to freshen up your home for spring. Let me know in the comments which item you would get if you could only get one this season. And it doesn't have to be one I've mentioned. Anything goes. Now, don't go yet. Remember to like and subscribe. And before you go, check out the cute coffee mugs I have designed with my good friend Lena Peterson. There are four different designs all available on my web shop. It would make me very happy if you ordered a few for your home to use when watching my videos in the future. Okay, that's all. Now you can go. Until next time.